Today, we're gonna be restoring the black gel coat on this four winds on the swim platform. It looks really faded, it's really oxidized. Let me show you how to do it. started you guys are going to notice how faded and oxidized this surface is but the good thing about this boat is I know it's fairly new oxidation because I looked at it six months ago so our plan for today is we've got the Griot's Garage G9 right here this is a random orbital polisher it's one of the most smooth most consistent orbitals on the market so it's really good for sanding we also have the Aperlon 1000 and the great thing about this pad is going to be able to actually cut with a thousand and then we're going to be able to finish it down so fine that we're actually going to be able to turn the pad closer into a 2000 and then a 3000 so one thing that people need to keep in mind while they're using these pads is that as you work these in these grits are going to break down they're going to become more fine so you're going to be able to work down to 2000 3000 i'm going to show you today how to sand all of this with only Apollon 1000 let's get started Now the Aperlon series 1000, 2000, 3000, they like to run really wet. So this is a wet sanding pad. You're going to notice that as it starts to dry out, it's going to look like this. So when you're working out in the sunlight, um, that water is going to start drying up because of the oxidation. It's going to start turning white. Now we got to re-wet down the surface and we got to re-wet down the pad and we got to keep going at it. So the goal here today, the plan is going to be to keep going at it two, three, four, five passes to really break this surface down and really get that oxidation out, but also have a really good finish so that we can buff it out with the water. So we're going to continue. <laughs> to really focus on the patterns and the motions that I'm doing because what I'm doing is I'm keeping it flat against the surface so I'm really allowing any room for air any imperfections so that's really important when you tilt the pad on, on the side like that this isn't gonna rotate you're not gonna cut plus you have a bigger chance of leaving pig rules which are basically deeper scratches in the gel coat that you're not gonna want to see especially on a dark color So that was pass number three. Our goal for this boat is going to be to work up to five passes. So we got two more left. This is going to be our final pass. So our pad now is very thin. It doesn't have a whole lot of grit left to it now. So this is going to really allow us to get a really good finish. Close down to 3000, which is going to give us an excellent cut and finish with level R. Then we'll go down, down to our polish and then we'll finish it out. Guys, keep watching. You're not going to want to miss the rest of the process. a good amount of coverage on here because the more coverage we got the more compound on the surface that's going to give us more work time so it's really important that we do get good coverage but once you got something like that then you got the rotary buffer and we're going to start off at 600 which is the lowest setting and we're going to really let this cut and work especially since it's a dark color <laughs> Now, 
What most people are going to do wrong is they are going to, number one, they're going to run the machine too fast that you're going to want to watch out for. Make sure you're going slow, take your time, don't rush this process. And then, you know, honestly guys, having the right products, I already told you what I'm using, Stark Level R. You guys want it for yourselves. Go to marinedetailsupply.com, use our code TOPDOC15, all caps, at checkout, and that will get you 15% off of Level R. So, you got all the right tools, I know you can do it. Get started. What we're gonna be doing in this next segment of the video is I'm gonna be showing you guys which pads to use after buffing. Cause I get this question all the time. Do I want to use the yellow wool pad? Do I want to use the purple foamed wool? Do I want to use the foam pad? And this is going to get really important. It's going to really depend on how good of a job you did with the sanding, the buffing. I want to show you guys specifically on this job which pad to use. So the yellow pad runs very similar to the white wool pad, except we're going to start a little higher. So now we're going to start around 1400, finish around. 1800 to 2100 um, but other than that everything can be the same all right so we're gonna give it a nice little wipe get all our excess out now one thing you'll really notice about this pad is it does an excellent job at shining up the surface so it's not really going to be the best pad for scratch removal so it's going to be great for shining up the surface so it could be a really good potential second step now we've got the purple foam wool so this is where we're switching from the rotary buffer into the fa polisher which is going to be orbital random orbital oscillation so that's going to get us swirl so this is going to cut down on swirl but i want you guys to see for yourself so let's go ahead and get started now we're going to start around four and a half we're going to finish around five and a half so we want to really finish that very hot very fast that's where elevate likes to work best <laughs> surface so one thing you gotta love about the purple foamed wool pad is it's gonna actually behave very similar to the yellow wool pad however it is cutting out on swirls so you're eliminating swirls eliminating a little bit of scratches it's really an excellent one step pad so I'm gonna continue and then we'll kind of come back to all of the spots and really see what did best now our final pad is the orange lake country foam force pad so this is a high quality heavy duty pad foam pad is excellent at is only taking out scratches reducing swirl marks that's about it you're not getting any oxidation removal with this pad so it'll be really interesting to see where this pad gets us on this section because i don't think we're quite ready for a foam pad but let's find out So the foam pad is excellent, again, like I said, at taking out scratches and swirls. So that's really, when it comes to scratch removal, the best pad to use. Let's go ahead and let's talk about each of these surfaces. Before we jump into the gloss meter, we're gonna actually take off the tape because it's impressive. I want you guys to really see. We come back over here. Can really tell right, these two right here are getting excellent shine, but you can see just what we buffed. So you can see a big difference in the polish from the buffing because the pad right there is the bar. These are elevated. So really keep it fresh out. Now, let's go ahead and let's test each of these and let's get a couple readings. And sometimes it's hard to look at it just with the untrained eye. You can only do so much, but this is gonna really tell us which one is gonna leave the best gloss. So let's get a couple readings from each. 87. So towards the upper 80s were some of the highest ones. So we really wanna see which readings we're getting. Now for the yellow wool, we got 84. Yeah, so we pretty much are topping off at 85 over here, but we're topping off at 87 over here. So, so far it does look like the purple foam wool is getting the best shine. Let's go ahead and check out the foam pad. 86.9. So purple foam wool is going to be your best pad. Plus you only need to do one step. Now, if you're going to do the yellow wool pad, which was the middle one, you have to run that pad. And then depending on if you have swirl marks, you'd have to follow up with a foam pad. So that kind of creates a two-step process. So that's why I've really grown a lot on this purple foam wool. It's an excellent pad. And as you can see, the results show for themselves and it saves you time. So that's going to be the one that we're going to use. On Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to head over to 1percentdetail.com where you can check out our products and you can enter to win our free monthly giveaway on the home screen every single month. With that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
be sure to give it a like and then hit the bell notification so that every time we release a video, you will be notified. Hope you guys enjoyed.